Elsewhere tonight, the chairman of the BBC, Richard Sharp, has given an interview after questions emerged surrounding his involvement in a loan made to Boris Johnson. That loan uh, was made before the then Prime Minister recommended him for the top job at the broadcaster. Simon Vigar joins us tonight live from Westminster. Simon, uh, great to have you on the programme. So it's quite a long silence, isn't it, by the BBC chairman, but he has been speaking today. Can you run us through what exactly he had to say? Hi, Dan. Yes, he has. He was uh, quite bullish, actually. He says there's no conflict of interest at all, and he's uh, clear that he's going to be exonerated. Um, he absolutely denies organising this loan for Boris Johnson in December 2020. It was a few weeks before he was appointed a chairman of the BBC, which is a government appointment. Uh, Mr Sharp says that, yes, he was at a dinner party, but uh, no, he didn't organise the loan, and that is backed up by uh, Mr Johnson. But the Commissioner of Public Appointments is now looking at his role. As you will hear, uh, Mr Sharp is confident he's going to be cleared. I'm confident that he will um, determine that I was appointed on merit. That's obviously for him to conduct that investigation and process. It was a highly rigorous process, I can tell you being part of it. Very tough interview, and I'm sure that process was fully and carefully recorded, so it can be minuted and, and seen whether my appointment was done on merit. Uh, let's move on to the, the current Prime Minister and the chairman of the Tory party, Nadim Zahawi. He's been a lot uh, in the press in the last sort of 48 hours or so. And this also involves Boris Johnson, doesn't it, Simon? Yes, because Mr Zahawi was the Chancellor, one of the Chancellors uh, last year before the change in Prime Ministers, two changes in Prime Minister, and he's now uh, Chairman of the Tory party. And he's under big pressure over this £5 million tax bill, which has now been uh, settled. But uh, this was in this morning. You're going to resign, Mr Zahawi. Do you feel under pressure to resign, sir? So not answering questions, but he's previously said that uh, he told Rishi Sunak in October that his tax affairs were in order. But he was Chancellor at the time. The government minister who was uh, doing the media interviews this morning said uh, it's correct that Mr Zahawi should stay in post. But what he said was hardly a ringing endorsement. Well, my understanding is that at the time that he was appointed, um, there were no outstanding uh, tax issues. Uh, clearly, uh, these new facts relate to a prior period, um, you know, under a different prime minister. Um, but it's going to be fully investigated, and the but full facts will come to light. Something this prime minister clearly feels he ought to have known about. That's why he's asked for an investigation. Well, the prime minister feels there are serious questions to answer, and that's why he's announced an investigation. Uh, I suppose that the key question, Simon, is when we might know the answer to those serious questions that need to be answered. Uh, yeah, we don't know, uh, Dan. There's no timescale on this. It's the PM's new ethics adviser who's looking into it. Opposition parties clearly smell blood on this one. Uh, one senior Tory has gone public, saying that Mr Sahawi should step aside for the time being, pending the inquiry, but there's no sign of that. And, as I say, he, of course, says he's done nothing wrong. Simon Vigar, thank you very much for that. It's the latest from Westminster for us tonight.